my sisters. Let's think about that walk. You're crazy. Hey, you promised me. Sometimes her attitude is a challenging thing. I'm not going anywhere. What are you going to do if we go to the swimming pool? The pool. We're going to plan on you having surgery here in a few weeks, okay? Yes. But I need you below 400 for us to do it. This is a last-ditch effort to make weight, but there's always that little voice in the back of your head. It's like, oh, damn, are you going to make it? It's like 639. I can't wait, Dad. On the way up here, you told me you had a cheat day. I have ate out a couple times. The d- unbelievable. Is that a man? Oh, it was! It was! Me and Michael called a home organizer because I want a nice, clean environment for Gage. All of our favorite quarters. I'm trying not to do that to my son. Just feel like a bad boy. Previously on the 1,000 Pound Sisters. <laughs> yeah, we've already done that right. My apologies. What a terrible joke. But anyway, you just saw what happened in the last episode. So now we're about to get down. We're about to see what the hell is going to happen in episode freaking five. Pushed too far. Here we go. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back again with another edition of 1,000 Pound Sisters. Tammy recently gained 15 pounds. And Amy, well, her home just isn't a safe place for a child. So this moment in time, she's feeling like a terrible, terrible mother. But hopefully in this episode here, we can see some sort of progression from Amy's side when it comes to her family, or well, when it comes to her home, and keeping it clean and making sure that there are no bugs, no roaches, no rats, no nothing but a safe zone. And at the same time, hopefully, Tammy is on the right path again of doing the right thing for herself. And maybe Tessa's now finally got through to her. Who knows? And also, last but not least, but let's hope that big brother... Well, I don't know if he's... Is he older? Wait, is brother older or... Hey, I don't even know, you know. But nonetheless, though, we can also hope that brother is also on the right track too. Because, he, because he's also another person that gained weight in the last episode. So at this moment in time, any chances of him getting a weight loss surgery or Tammy, they've still got to do some more freaking work. But with that being said, though, ladies and gentlemen, let's start off by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel, including Patreon, and every single person that is, a, that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. Now, with that being said, let's get it going. I'm sorry. I hired people to come out to my home and help me organize stuff, but there's bugs everywhere, there's dead mice. It's just too much to handle. We were never taught to do something. Yeah, I feel you, and it's okay. I'm just here to tell you it's okay. When we were growing up, my mom worked three jobs, so it was hard. She really didn't have time to teach us how to properly clean a house, but, but I'm trying to be better as a mom. You do the best you can as a mom with what you've been given, and you're improving and trying to get better. I mean, that's... Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on a minute. No, 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 no. We can't be doing this. We can't be playing the blame game or diversion or deflection or anything like that. Listen, Amy is what, 33 years of age? 34, something like that? And she has been known to have cockroaches in her home in the past when she was a YouTuber beforehand. So to be quite frank with you, the fact that there's been animals has been found, you know, insect animals, whatever you want to call it, has been found in her home, there's no way she can sit there and say that my mom was working three jobs, so we was, we was never taught how to uh, clean. That doesn't make it, it's not even about it not making sense, it's about it being unacceptable, because I can tell you this now firsthand, there were tons of people out here that wasn't taught nothing from their parents, but they had to teach themselves from young. Okay, and they had to teach themselves to make sure that they were ready for this freaking world. Now, of course, not everyone has that freaking ability. Don't get it twisted. But the fact that she's in her 30s and the fact that this has happened before and she hasn't learned from it is even more embarrassing. And the fact that she's now a mother is even more just disgusting, shall I say. So to, for me personally, maybe you think I'm being, I'm being a little bit harsh. But no, I'm not tough. I'm not happy with this with this level of reasoning or, or excuses. Listen, your house is filthy. The bottom line is this. You pick yourself up, you get your house clean, and you keep it clean for your child and also for yourself. And of course, your damn partner can help you at the same damn time. Because at the end of the day, okay, her story is mum was working three jobs and she never taught us this, this, and that. What about your partner? What's his excuse? Because the fact is, there's two parents in this situation who need to be handling it properly because a child is involved. And to be fair, even without a child, you're still involved. You have to sleep around these bugs. Come on now, wake the F up. This isn't good enough. If you dig what I'm saying, fully triggered at this moment in time. You know what I mean? Now I'm laughing because I want to calm myself down. But I can't be going for these things about, oh, I wasn't taught this. 
You're 30 plus is a take accountability. You're a grown ass woman. You should have been teaching yourself how to keep yourself clean from teen years, if anything. Minimum, minimum 18. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, no, not minimum. No, no, teen years, but like latest 18 plus. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, man, let's continue with this utter madness. Do the happy dance. Okay, my back. <laughs> My grandma was a hoarder. My mom's a hoarder. You know, I'm trying to make a better change. I'm trying to get everything in order, but that's going to be hard to try to keep up with it. Okay, so I'm not going to say here as if I really have a full understanding behind the whole idea of being, beyond the whole idea of being a hoarder, to be honest with you, because I think when it comes to being a hoarder, everyone does it maybe for different reasons, but usually when we see it on TV and we see how bad it can be, it is something that we have noticed that is definitely a mental health type situation. Something that, you know, people do because they find it hard to let go of certain things because of what it represents or anything like that, right? And when it comes to the mental health side of things, it becomes a very sticky tough techie type of subject to really talk about because you don't know what that person is necessarily going through but at the same time though there is one there is this one word called responsibility okay in fact there's another one as well called accountability and the fact is though in this situation itself in particular it's not about the fact that mom was a hoarder, grandma was a hoarder. It's about the fact that you've got a child in your house. Now, even though your your grandparents, your 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 mother failed in that role of obviously not teaching you, not teaching Amy, obviously, you know, how to be a hoarder in a in a clean way, shall I say, or in a respectful way, or in a uh, tidy way, shall I say. This is this is one. This is now that stage. I mean, it should have happened a whole lot sooner. Like I've already stressed, but. Amy, you're now in that stage where you've acknowledged that you are a hoarder. You, you acknowledge that it's something that happens within the family tree. Okay, cool. But now, how can you make it better for yourself? And most importantly, how can you make it better for your son? And even more as well, at the same time, how can you get your... This husband of hers, man, this partner of hers, he needs to be on board because of the fact is this is that... This isn't going to be one of those things that she can necessarily do alone. She's going to need some form of support, especially, especially given the fact that there's emotions behind it. You know, it may not be main to hate relate per se, because I cannot confirm that, but there's definitely emotions behind being a hoarder, right? So hubby needs to pull up his socks, you know what I mean? Become a man, you know what I mean, okay? And actually be like, okay, cool. How can we organize? How can we do this? How can we do that? Because if you're not doing it together, then what's the point of being together in the first place? And at the same time, the, the teamwork between two parents is only nothing but healthy for a child to witness and see. And that child is gets to see, you know, okay, so this is how healthy he looks like. This is how I should be when I get older. Do you see what I'm saying? Engage is a boy, right? So dad, start showing, start showing Gage how, how men are supposed to be men towards women. You know what I'm saying? It's never too young for a baby to start watching your parents, how they conduct. So no one told me nothing about, oh, you're only a baby. He's not going to know this. Now nah, that's BS, man. Listen, babies watch everything. They learn everything. Come on now, man. <laughs> Don't mess about. <laughs> that, but anyway, let's, 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 let's proceed. But there's just a lot on my plate right now. Tisa only comes in a couple days a week. I'm still doing a lot for Tammy. There's not enough time in my daily schedule. It's time for her to get her independence. It'd be so much easier if Tammy got off her ass and lost weight. Thank you guys. Yeah. The fact is, though, that is true. It would be so much easier if Tammy got off her ass and lost some weight. But at the same time, though, Amy does not have the responsibility of looking after a 35, 34 year old woman. Okay? That 34, 35 year old woman called Tammy Sladen has a responsibility to get off her own ass and to, do her, and to live her own life. So to be honest with you, as much as I see Amy wanted to be the best sister possible, which I think is absolutely amazing, at the same time though, you've got a kid now, and your kid isn't an adult, you know what I'm saying? So Gage is way much more important, way much more of a priority, so as far as I'm concerned, she's just, she just going to have to literally forget Tammy, to be honest with you. That's the plain simple of it, because Tammy's a grown adult, that's the bottom line, and at the same time though, Tammy has a type of attitude that, you know, that she has a type of attitude where she needs to be left alone to do her own thing because whenever she doesn't get her own way, she's very like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, we all know what Tammy is like, if you know what I mean. Like, Tammy doesn't deserve to have someone really, really into look after her because she's ungrateful. So, be a mother to your child that is, is going to be grateful or is grateful, you know what I'm saying, okay? Rub into a sister who's ungrateful and just loves to say this, 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 and that. But again, though, her sister's behavior and actions also come down to. The mother's influence but at the same time though 
Neither one of their sisters should be using their mother as an excuse anymore. I'm not saying Tammy has been or Amy has been, no, say, per se. But what I'm trying to say is just because their mother's been one way, it doesn't mean that they should still be the same way, given the fact that they are grown women. Well, supposed to be grown women, but hey, <laughs> life goes on. Let's proceed. On the surgery day, or ain't nothing like learning a lesson the hard way. But if you can't do exercise, that means you just can't eat. Please stop touching me, but... It's not reasonable to think I will never have a G-Day. Even Chris has G-Days. We're just gonna get you back on track and chew Amy's ass about the G-Days. Sometimes that girl, love her to death. Stupid just smacked her on every branch all the way down the tree when she fell out. She must have known I was talking about her. What's up, bitch? Yeah, it was a doctor's appointment. She gained 15 damn pounds. What the hell? You know what they all talking yeah. about. You helped on them cheat days It's easier to help her cheat on her cheat days than have a fight with her, Chris. Who has to deal with it? Tammy's been asking you to buy her cheap See, that's the problem. Tammy's supposed to be on this diet, but then she texts me all kinds of shit. I need this, 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 and this. And if I don't get it, she bitches at me. If I do get it, somebody else bitches at me. I'm just tired of getting bitched at. Oh my effing god. This family is uh, this family is a death of me. So, ba <laughs> so basically, Tammy gained an extra 15 pounds because Amy was given was buying her food for for, blah, 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 for cheat days why is there a cheat day this woman shouldn't be having any cheat days it shouldn't exist she's not oh my days you can't tell me you're over 600 pounds and you have the ability to to obviously you're gonna want to obviously you're going to want to shoot cheat days right but that shouldn't be a part of the plan at all shouldn't be thinking about it she gained fifth. Oh my days! And you know what? I know. I know. There's some people that just love to be on Amy's side because she's the better version of Tammy, like to a certain degree, because she kind of got her life together a little bit by losing some weight and you know starting a family and whatnot. But the fact is, though, she's still enabling her sister. Now, listen, we could sit here all day and have a discussion and have a debate about how it's Tammy's fault because Tammy's the one that's manipulating Amy or Tammy's the one that's asking Amy or just like Amy just said a second ago, if I don't do it, then everyone else will tell me off. And if I don't do it, then Tammy will tell me off or whatever. It's like, <laughs> if it's that one thing called a backbone, yeah, you heard that? The back freaking bone, like, come on. This is ridiculous. 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 And to be fair with you, you know, again, Chris is another one that, you know, we we, we choose to like as well because, again, time is the worst one. But at the same time, though, to be quite frank with you, Chris doesn't have a right to be honest with you, to be ringing, well, well to be to be um, bitching about Amy behind her back per se. Because the fact is, though, this whole family is all in on it. Because obviously Amy just said, hey, if I don't do it, then other people will tell me off for not doing it. I'm not saying Chris is one of those people, but what I'm trying to say is that, like, Chris is so freaking vocal when it comes to Tammy. Why doesn't he just step in and say, you know what, Amy? You go do your thing. Go be a, you know, just go be a mother. Do what you got to do, okay? I will deal with Tammy moving forward, okay? Because, you know, I have so much to freaking say all the time. So it's like, okay, take the role then. Take the freaking role. Because at this moment in time, Chris is winding me up too. Because this is absolutely pathetic. Because in this family, it's literally past the parcel, you know? Who are we blaming next? If Tammy gains weight, oh, it was Amy's fault. What about you, Chris? What about Tammy? But the fact is this, though. Take Tammy out of it. No, take Chris out of it. Take Amy out of it. The bottom line is this, though. In reality, there's only one person to blame, and that is Tammy. But sadly, in this family, it, 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 it's a chain. It's, it's, it's everyone. <sighs> wow, man. This, this family is challenging. Ch challenging. I gotta say that one more time, man. It's fucking challenging, man. Ah! Anyway, let's proceed. I'm just tired of getting bitched at. This is exactly why I don't want to be her caretaker. Because I get the blame for everything. Like, everything she does is somehow my fault. Well, it's your fault when you take her to food she don't need. Uh, the one who eats the and asks for it. What the hell am I supposed to do? Make sure she has the proper foods in the house with plenty of fruits and vegetables. She's not allowed any carbs. I mean, I'm trying. I'm just saying make sure it gets done. Just be proactive. That should have already been taken care of the first week that she was back. Tammy always asks me about cheap food. And if I don't, she gets mad. And if I do, Chris gets mad. And I'm just done with it. I'm not her mother. I cannot lose this weight for her. And that's what everybody wants me to do. And I'm like, I can't. I need help too. Okay. 
This family needs a timeout, man. They need to, this is a roller coaster of an episode. This is too much, man. There's just tears everywhere. Listen, time out. Time out, man. This that that's what they need to do. They need to separate. You know what I mean? Like they all need to just go they all need to like move away from each other. Like one goes to one goes to the east, one goes to the north, one goes to the mid. You know what I mean? East coast, west coast, mid coast, whatever you want to call it, okay? They need to just be away from each other, okay? And just let them live their lives the way how however they however they see fit, let them do it. If Tammy ends up running herself down to the grave, then so be it. That's her choice. Because this isn't fair, man. The, div the, the division in this family because of Tammy is pathetic. Of course, the root of the problem comes from just mother, you know, the upbringing of the mother and X, Y, Z, but, or, and even the father, whatever. But end of the day, at this moment in time, Tammy is the issue. So everyone needs to move away from Tammy and just be and go, go on about their lives. That's it. The same, man. This roller coaster of emotions is, is jarring, man. Six thirty nine. It's not a huge difference. Yeah but, she, yeah, but she's supposed to be going down, not up. Tammy has a bad habit of not keeping her focus where it needs to be. It quite honestly pisses me off. <laughs> the way she was like, yeah, so um, went up to six thirty nine. But it wasn't that bad. To be honest, you Misty said it all after that. You're supposed to be going down, and quite frankly, just pisses us off. Ah, damn, man! This episode is the death of me right now. This is not good, man. Like time is actually jarring me. They, ah. Uh. What the doctor said? He said to lose twenty-five pounds a month and get seventy-five steps in. Have you been trying the steps? I rehab. I was walking a lot, and now my knees have started hurting me, and my arms are out of jobs, and out of jobs, I get dizzy. So it's hard for me to move around as much as I want to. So what's going on with you? And can we just process for one second that Tammy just said that as much as I want to. If you wanted to, then you wouldn't stop. If you wanted to, then you would have. She would have been far. She would have been in a better place by now. Oh yeah, you know I definitely want to be healthy, but you know my knees be hurting. Doctor says I gotta I gotta I gotta lose twenty five pounds a month and I gotta be doing seventy five steps a day. But hey, man, my knees are hurting. No, even though even and even though I want to, you know, like, but what can I do about it? Like, yo, yo, what? The, it's crazy though, man. She's more than happy to go through the pain of eating food, but not go through the pain of trying to lose twenty five pounds a month and not go through the pain of trying to do seventy five steps a day. Even if she broke it down and did twenty five one day. And then did maybe 50 another day, and then maybe did 75 another day, and then one day, and then another day she did like 100. You know, as long as it all calculates together by the end of the week of the total of 7 times 25, it's happy days, right? You know what I mean? Right, but no, there isn't trying. And right now, I've, I haven't seen Tissa on site. Has Tissa been sacked already? Has she left? Did she quit? What's going on? Yo, man, like, but you know what, though? If I was Tissa, man... I'll be like, yo, I, I, need, I need my wages doubled, man, because pff, tripled, man, because damn, this girl be doing my head in. <laughs> and not only is she doing my head in, but she's talking to me like I'm a, <laughs> she's talking to me like I'm a fool on national television. Now I can't be doing this. Ruin my reputation and I need, I need my money. <laughs> but anyway, let's proceed, man. This is Atta, Atta Akers. His name, Philip, yeah. We still talking and getting to know each other, thinking about going out there to see why? Why not? You have a hard time just getting up to go to the bathroom. They do a lot of walking in Vegas. Philip and I's relationship is getting closer to being something big. So why shouldn't I go meet him? There's always concerns. That I've never done like teenage things with kids even when they were younger. I'm not experienced it now. Don't give a dang what people think or want. Just make myself happy for once. Do so you mean happy and lose weight? I guess I'd feel a bit better about it if you were more able to take care of yourself. What do you mean, like, I can take care of myself? Tammy needs to lose some weight where she's more mobile before she does things like that. But now that she has somebody showing her a little bit of attention, it's like she's in the mindset, I'm going to do what I should meet him before you go to Las Vegas. No. And why can't we date a little while before I introduce y'all? Because you have a tendency to be really damn gullible. I'm not gullible. Okay, then answer me this. No. Why the hell do you have such a shitty attitude since you got with him? I don't know what you're talking about. Since she's got with Philip, she's more 
crappy about everything. She hasn't been motivated. How does that make you guys feel? As a family, we want to bust this guy's head. <laughs> or Tammy. One of them. You can't keep holding back to the negative. Everything's going to be okay. Okay. So Tammy wants to go to Vegas. I mean, listen, I think it's great that she wants to leave that chair of hers. And I think it's great that she wants to leave the state and go somewhere else and explore. I think that's amazing. But if, you're, if, but, but, but if you can't do 75 steps a day because your knees hurt, how is she expecting to get to, to get to Vegas for one? And how is she then expecting to be able to move around for two? Okay, so let's put it this way. So she's expecting her family members to wheel her, to literally wheel her in her wheelchair, that's it, to the airport. She gets on the plane. And then how is she going to get off the plane? She's going to expect someone else to then do that for her too? I mean, I, I don't know if I'm sounding dumb, but like, this is, this, this is, this is where I'm at right now watching this. I feel, I just feel like, Ugh. so, and then she gets off and then what? BBW King's there and he's just going to push her around in her wheelchair the whole time they're there together? Does she, she hasn't even met the man. How does she know that she can trust him to wheel her around everywhere? And what if, what, what if he wants to do something that involves walking? Then what? What's he going to do? You, you think he's going <laughs> to... He's probably going to leave you behind. You're probably going to go to Vegas and meet a few of his other women there, to be honest with you. Right? This whole thing is absolute uckers, man. What, 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 what? But the fact is this, though. Like, you know, end of the day, you've done nothing to show that you have the mobility willingness. Not even the, the mobility levels, just the mobility willingness to actually do anything. And then she sits there on a high horse talking about... Oh, you know, I want to do things to make myself happy for once, you know, missing out on the teenage years and all that kind of stuff. Listen, you missed out because you haven't been looking after yourself. The fact is, you could have, she could have been in a better position while she was in her 20s at least. But no, you're waiting until your 30s now. Not that that's a bad thing like that, but based on her attitude, it's a bad thing. But she's making it sound like as if her whole life has passed on her because everybody else has been mean to her. Because her words was, I want to do things to make me happy for once. So she's telling us that this whole time, she wasn't living life la vida loca. It, was be it wasn't because of herself. It was because of somebody else, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, damn, man. I don't feel me. What are we doing here? Michael does not want to push Tammy around this meet and greet. But Tammy's too fat to fit the electric wheelchair. Why not I can't fit it. I can't. I'm not gonna be able to drive it. Can you, can you lift what the seat up? Here, raise this up. You need to sit and hold. I can't up. It's not. You wanna put this back on the truck? Yeah, let's put it back on the truck. I was hoping the motorized wheelchair was gonna be an easier way to get around today, but it doesn't hold my weight. It kept tipping forward. Oh, oh, oh forgot about that. That part there. I mean, listen. <laughs> I know I wouldn't. Be, I would not want to be spending the whole day pushing Tammy around. You know what I mean? But of course, they had a meet and greet. Tammy's got to attend. And to be fair with you, I mean, the second that I saw that, I saw, I, I saw the uh, the electric wheelchair. I think it's called. You know, it's not a scooter, is it? That's a, anyway. Nonetheless, though, you know what it is, right? The fact is this, though. The second that I saw, I was like, that is not wide enough to fit her at all. You know what I mean? But um, at the end of the day, this is another one of those problems. The fact is, this is that whoever's around Tammy has to aid to her. You know what I mean? And this is another reason why Tammy needs to obviously do better for herself. But most importantly, this is another reason why I say that the family should just leave her alone to figure shit out by herself. Because this is a nice, you know? Just imagine going to this nice little fun fair situation. There's so many things to do, but you got to push Tammy everywhere. That's peak still, man. Call me selfish, but I'd, I'd leave her in the car. To be honest, man. I'll pack her up somewhere and be like, listen, see you later, mate. I made it a fun, you know what I mean? I ain't here to be your nanny. I ain't here to look after you. I ain't here for you to be telling me X, Y, Z. And of course, you saw that the moment that they tried to suggest, tried again, she was like, no, it ain't working. Like, I understand that she probably feels embarrassed. She, you know, um, it's not the best situation, so I can definitely understand that, you know what I mean? But this is what happens when you don't look after yourself. Anyway, I'm just talking nonsense now. Let me just proceed. Yep. Just push it back. Tammy is getting so big. Her 
wheels are falling off her wheelchair. It's literally falling apart underneath our weight. We might have to stand up. Let me watch that, man. Sorry, I'm trying to turn the wheel here. Can you walk to the gravel? No. All right. Tammy's mobility has gone downhill. Ugh. I know Tisa's pushing Tammy to walk a little bit, but it ain't going off great. Here we go. I'll get you going. Yeah. Look, you're making a cow yell. <laughs> he wants to ride with you. <laughs> We're just lucky after all that drama with Tammy. She's okay, and we can go to the meet and greet. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> First and foremost, Tammy's breathing at that moment in time was not pleasant at all. Tell me, tell me you heard the breathing. If you didn't, rewind and come back to it because, boy, her breathing was poor. Wild, man. Honestly, it was like, I felt like my anxiety was just going up, but I was just like, I feel like she's, she's about to lose her life right now. She's about to pass out because it wasn't good. But of course, at this moment in time, there's a, I guess, a lot of movement that's needed. Embarrassment's also happening. Overwhelmed, the whole shebang. But anyway, nonetheless, though, You see the wheelchair and you see the wheel literally come off the wheelchair i mean the, the 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 tire of the tire to come off the actual rim that was different man like yo 15 pounds extra and this is what's happening but to be fair this this probably would have happened even with that extra 15 pounds to be honest with you you know what i'm saying man like I, sometimes when you watch these tv shows i just sit and i say to myself so forget about where is your rock bottom the question is where is that moment that you realize that, you know, I can't, I can't find the word, but it's just that you watch it, you're like, how have you not got to that realization yet that you need to now do better? You now need to literally turn your life around. You know what I mean? Like, I, it's, it's beyond me, man. Like, I'm just like, what? But hey, 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 hey. All I know is this though, they've got a show to, they've got fans to meet and I really hope that goes well because boy, if they turn up and then they get, Ridiculed of all that effort? God damn. Anyway, let's proceed. People start showing up and lining up. The more nervous I'm getting. This being our first real hometown meet and greet. It's kind of shocking to know that all these people come here just to see us. But also, kind of scared because you have your good, bad supporters. I mean, some are just down out rude for no reason. People crazy. You don't know what they're going to try to do. I do know this. It's a bitch full of matter. Game on. First and foremost, seeing that picture of Tammy when she was back in school, and then you're looking at her now, it's like you've made no progression in your life. And the fact that she had the audacity to come out of a comment like, back then people bullied me, but like, look at me now. Huh? Like, yo, you might be famous, but you're not famous in the best of ways. Understand this. And you've done nothing to progress yourself in any kind of way since then how she's on this high horse <laughs> she wonders why nobody likes her right or why she has so many haters ah. it's a struggle every day the dynamic has changed with our fans before we were looked at for a way to judge us and stuff like oh you fat monsters you just let you pigs now they're looking at us as people that inspire them. Well, me, not Tammy. Tammy don't inspire nothing but a chicken. <gasps> Best day ever! I'm so excited. Now, can you walk up here? Yeah, fam, I'm walking. Where's your walk? Back here. <laughs> you got it on lock? Yeah. And I'll be back. I like it in the pool. I don't know if it's the Murray Bunny we coming out. I don't know. It just makes me happy. But she might need to pull the van closer next time. Come on, sexy. That water's deep. No, it's not. Let's just let's just put this in ugh. let's just put this in perspective real quick. So Tammy forgets her walker. Tessa goes back to get to it, and then Tammy walks. I tell you why that's bullying, because it means that Tessa isn't trying to be lazy for 
Tammy neither, or neither shall I say. So the good thing is that even though she, even though the walk was left, she's like, no, 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 we're, we're gonna get that because you're walking today. Listen, man, ten out of ten for Tessa. But hey, let's continue. Hi, look up deep to me. It's not. Hello, Hi. ladies. <laughs> I am terrified of the water because I can't swim, but I would do anything to get Tammy in the water. Anything for this class. Typical black people. Just can't swim, can we? <laughs> I just had to say that, but let's proceed. Well, at least she's in the water, right? But hey, let's get it. She gets down in the pool. I can just see a different glow in her face. She's in the water and she can do movement. Put your hands on your hips. Go forward and back. <laughs> oh, you're going down low. That's how low can you go? She's flopping arms around. She's kicking her legs. She's flopping her ass around. She's doing it all. I'm flopless. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> and she floats like a butterfly. I thought she's going to float away. Well, we're going to do the exercise. Come on, sister. Tammy is the youngest one in the water, but the ladies in the pool are doing better than Tammy. She would have hit me for sure from inside the pool, out of the pool, back to the car if she had her way. Let me get your wallet. I'm not just gonna go back there. You can do it. Come on. Dad, that's wrong, sister. Maybe get to her just not. When you're not in the pool, it's like harder to get around. Carrying around 640 pounds. There's a lot on your body, on your knees, your feet, your ankles. When we get down to the green, I'm gonna let you walk to the car. Okay? I'm not walking. You can walk. I'm hurting my back. You can walk that far. Yes, you can. You're gonna have to because this blacktop is rough. This is rough. Dad, you can make it that far. Because I know you can walk. Come on. I'm gonna get that thing out of the car. But this right here is rough. Are you kidding me? Not only is it hard to push Timmy. In that wheelchair. The wheelchair itself is heavy and it's a lot of strain. Come on. I can't do this black top with you. Come on. Get behind the. I'll put the wheelchair in front of you and you push the wheelchair like you're no. Just walk to the damn car. I got it. You got it. Now, I cannot. I know that you can walk. And I'm not going to do it. That's just bull You can walk. Ain't no sense you telling me that you can't walk. I didn't see you walk, hell. Now, I don't give a damn what you say. Damn me. Hello? Why well, I know you hear me. And you can get mad at me all you want. There's people in worse shape than you are that wish they had two legs. This is crazy. Listen! Tessa's arrived, man! She's in full freaking force. She's like, listen, I know you can walk. And there's people in far worse position than y'all. Come on. Let her know, man. She's like, I ain't pushing you to that car. You're going to get up and you're going to go there. Oh, man. She put Tammy in her place. In her place. The way she's like, I know you can hear me. I know you can hear me. <laughs> Yo, man, listen. Tessa, this is it. Oh, come on. Yeah, she's doing this. She's doing that one thing, that one simple thing that the rest of the family ain't doing. All Chris does is talk. He talks, but he shows no action towards Tammy. Amy talks, but then she'll feed it anyway. And the rest of the family, oh, screw them. Tessa comes in. She's like, listen, I know you can walk. You just showed me. Ah, oh, come on. She got a swim in. She, she then got a walk in with a walker and then got a walk in without no walker. Come on now, man. Listen, Tessa's achieved more than anyone else has in Tammy's whole household. 
Yo, yeah. <laughs> she makes me so freaking proud, man. Ah, I'm all for it, but hey, man, let's get it. I say something because I just don't want to fight, but I'm really mad right now. I don't think she's being fair. She knew what she was going to get into when she took this job. That was part of it. Pushed me around in the wheelchair to take me places. You watch me rip that damn heavy thing your ass can walk. These people with no legs tries to walk. And you can do it. Ain't no sense you handicapping yourself. I come to see you two days a week. And two days a week, we're going to make some damn progress. That's just Damn, man. But you know what? See, the way Tommy was like, you knew what you was getting in, in for when you took this job. You knew you was going to be, you was getting paid to, to push me around in a wheelchair. You know what I mean? See, Tommy's mentality. You're going to push me around in a wheelchair. No, 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 no. Tessa doesn't run like that. Tessa, like, we, we ain't doing that. I'm here to help you to do better. There's people in this world who legit just can't walk. But you, you're trying to force yourself to be handicapped. She said it all, man. Tess is like one of those characters that you watch on TV that says everything that the audience is already thinking. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to her for that one, man. Listen, start a freaking show, man. Come on now. Um, but yeah, listen, Tammy, listen. <laughs> the only way to, I mean, it's, it's crazy. Only, she's only with her two days a week, you know? That's hard, though, because Tammy needs someone four times a week. You need more. She needs to be with someone who is with her for more days of the week than less. So two days a week for me ain't going to cut it because... The two days that, that, that Tessa goes through with Tammy, they get reversed easily within the next five days. So each time she sees Tammy, it's always a restart, 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 man. If only, that she, if only she could be with Tammy for more days than that. But of course, Tammy's a freaking adult, man. She shouldn't need anyone to be with her anyway, period. So to be fair, she's very fortunate and lucky to have someone with her, period. But nonetheless, though, man, Tessa's got her mind in the right place. She went home. She was, I'm going back to the drawing board. That's it. Tomorrow, I'm going to turn up. And when I turn up, I'm going to turn the fuck up on this woman man because i ain't messing about we need it we need to get this done we got objectives to meet we can get the most done in those two days oh hallelujah man i'm for four remember listen the end of the day this moment in time uh this is what needs to be done this is exactly what needs to be done but at the same time though tammy now needs to learn from these experiences that she's going through with Tessa for, for her to do by herself long term. But the sad thing is though, she went into rehab or wherever she went into, she learned things there, she came back home, she stopped doing them. So it's annoying because all the hard work that Tessa's gonna do, is all gonna go pretty much lost if anything because when Tessa ain't there, time is going the opposite direction and to make it worse, the family ain't doing nothing to help. Amy gave Tess a grilling on the first episode about how, you know, I needed to push her some more because, you know, this, this, she's manipulative, she does all these things, but yet she's the one who's feeding her. The college, uh, I've said it, I've, I think I've said enough now, but nonetheless though, thank you so much for your time. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you like it to help, to help the channel grow and help the, the video grow itself, and also please make sure you subscribe as well. But nonetheless, I'll see you lovely people in the freaking comment section. We're done and we are out. Peace.